Hello everyone. I know it's been a while, hasn't it, since I've posted a video. And I really, the reason being is I don't want to uh, put content on my YouTube channel, which is not related to the camper van and all my travels and everything. Um, so that's why I've not posted for a long while. And also, I'm going through the menopause and it's occurred during the lockdown. So my hormone levels are completely depleted. I'm getting all symptoms of achy bones, foggy brain. I'm actually seriously losing my memory. Uh, the lack of enthusiasm, it's just all there. So I'm going to ring up my GP and see if I can get onto the HRT because, you know, us women don't have to suffer like this, you know. We can easily take a treatment for it, to just up the hormones, you know. We don't have to accept it. So, um... So hopefully in about two weeks, I shall be going off on a trip because it's um, uh, the half term holidays. I've started back at work, so I can only really go away when the school holidays are on. So yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing you then. Flair taking her into the garage just before I go to work. I might hang around for the hour for her to get a test. I do think she's going to fail this year. <sighs> I'm dreading it. <laughs> okay, let's take her. I'm gonna go for a wander into town. And wait! Oh, my heart's pounding. I don't mind her failing on a few minor things getting done. It's the welding. If she needs any that I'm panicking about, the real expensive jobs, not the minor ones. If she needs new tyres and lights and this and that, that's not an issue. It's the welding, because she's 30 years old. Right, I'm walking back to the garage to pick Blair up. They haven't phoned me yet, so I don't know the result. I am a bit anxious. <laughs> she's in there. Oh, look, she's up on the ramp. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if you can see her. There she is. I don't know how things are going. I can see him tapping underneath. <laughs> Just tapping away. She's been coming down. So this is near the end of the test. So I'll get the results. Oh, here she is. Has to be expected. She failed this time. But it's on emissions. It's on the carb. So he's having a look to see if he's got another one. The CO2 emissions were too high. So I'm going to have to get uh, a carb, <laughs> which is not too bad. I'm not actually disappointed with that because it probably means that she will run a bit better. Well done, Flair. Oh, she just loved this fan so much. She um, failed, <laughs> but she only failed on emissions. And he was saying, I just need to swap out the VV carburetor for another one. And that was about it, really. So, just get that done and she will sell through the MOT. Yay! I was so dreading it might be rust welding and all that malarkey, but she's not that at that stage yet. So now, I've got a debate whether to get a single Weber or a double dual one. I don't know which one to go for. With a single, it's an easy swap in, swap out with a double choke. I think you need to get another manifold. I don't know how much more the fuel will increase. I mean, I can cope if it's just going to increase by another like five, ten miles, miles. But um, what am I talking? About? So, ten liters of fuel around town gives me roughly about twenty-five, twenty-six miles, and that's on the VV carb. Okay, before I start talking about what I'm up to, is the reason why I've got this mask on while I'm talking to the camera and I'm alone in the van is because I've been damn lazy. I haven't waxed my moisture on my beard. And also, I've got a massive cotton wool bud stuck in my gob because I've got bad toothache. So today, I'm going to take Flair up a hill which is 12% gradient to test out the VV carb in her because I'm getting it swapped out for a Weber in a few days time. 
So I just want to compare, you know, how they how they function. So we're going to take her up, and I actually might be excited about this. So I've come to the road. Let's uh, see if it's recording. Yeah. And we're going to do the hill. So it's from starting from stationary. We are going to go up this 12% gradient road. Let's see how Flair does. She's in first gear at the moment, doing 10 miles per hour. I've got my foot sort of three quarters of the way down. And she's making it up at 12 miles per hour. Oh, it's getting steeper here. Foot's three quarters down, 10 miles per hour. Still in first gear, struggling, 10 miles per hour. Oh, foot's right down at 10 miles per hour. So I'm going at 10 miles per hour up this 12%. Foot is down. She is down, 10 miles per hour. We're near the top now. And here we go, leveling off. So at 10 miles per hour, she's going with my foot down near enough to the floor. She made it. <laughs> There's Flair. Flair's still at the garage. Hopefully I'm getting her back tomorrow with the new Weber car put in. There's been a whole load of issues going on. The wrong part's been sent. Had to send it back and then another one and then the choke cable was wrong. So that's why it's been two weeks since I've seen Flair. Oh my golly, Flair is like a different fan now. Literally, I can't keep her to 30 miles per hour. Um, before, 30 miles was a breeze, 30 miles per hour. But now, I have to be so careful that my foot doesn't touch the accelerator because she goes over really quickly. And I'm zooming around at 50, 60 miles per hour, no issues whatsoever. So tomorrow I'm going to be taking her up a hill to really test her out. But this weather, it's just, it's just, I don't know what it's like. It's like putting a new heart in, in an old engine. So I've come into Flair to start her up. She's got a manual choke now, so I've got to pull that out before I start her. Okay, Flair. Zoom, zoom, zoom with the new Weber in. Oh, she started. That's good. You see why I can't talk? Because I've got cotton wool in my mouth because of my tooth. For a drive. Went for a shop. I'm going to pull the choke out and now I can't start her. No, nothing. I don't want to flood her. Oh, she started and gone dead. That doesn't sound too great, does it? Couldn't think of a better place to break down, really supermarket fuel station in flare charge my stuff up so we're just waiting for the rac now to turn up they weren't too bad 20 minutes i had to wait well i'm home and uh, i'm such a dumb ass because it's a manual choke and i haven't used one of those for god knows 30 odd years um i started her off in the morning with it pulled out she started up and then we went for a drive and then when I parked her up and I came back into the van she was still out and I had turned her over producing an airlock and that's why the fuel wasn't getting into the engine. So, lesson learned. Do not use the choke when the engine is warm. Right, I'm going to go up the hill which I did before previously with a VV car, but now I'm doing it with a Weber. Let's see how far she goes up. Right, let's do it. So I had to stop here, just check there's no traffic, nothing coming there. Right, let's see how far she goes up with the Weber. Foot down, doing 10, 20. Oh, she's going faster than she normally does. Much easier. 
Right, let's put my foot down on here. We're doing 20. We're just doing 20. <laughs> Which is a lot better than the 15. But I can feel that she's going up a lot smoother and she's not struggling as much. Oh, we're doing it at 20 still. I think previously it was around about 15. So yeah, slight improvement. Still a bit sluggish, but 20, I can take that. So Flair got her MOT, um, she's now got a single choke Weber in her and was it an improvement? Yes, it is a definite improvement from the VV carb. Um, the fuel economy is roughly the same but I can definitely feel the speed in her. She is a lot faster and I can actually stop at a roundabout and zoom if need be. <laughs> Not like, like a Lamborghini but you know for a fan she seems like it now if it were maybe in the future i might put a double weber in her i don't know because i'm quite enjoying the speed in flair um what's going to say is that um for the next few days i'm probably going to be posting some random videos of what's been happening in the last six seven months okay so just be warned